So last year we built an NQ pivot trading system. I just want to do a follow up on how it's doing currently as of now. We're also going to do a full code review of our NQ pivots trading system and go over how it works, uh, the logic, etc., and how it's performing. So we built this system around September. I made a video on it here, October 26, 2024. I think we developed it a month prior. So it's probably September 2024. And I just ran a, an up-to-date back test with it right now. Let me just rerun it to make sure we're good. This platform is NinjaTrader. Uh, if you want to learn more about algo trading and quant trading, see the links in the description below. If you want to learn how to build trading systems like this. But we're going to go over the full code so you'll be able to see it and implement it yourself. I don't obviously release all the systems that I trade, but I do release some of them for free uh, just to give you guys uh, a good head start in algo trading. So, uh, if we look at that video, so I released that video October 2024, 26. So right here is when I released the video and I, we actually developed the system in September. So yeah, I was around here. So this system since then uh, has made over 120 grand based on one futures contract. Me personally, I started trading it uh, around February, so around here. Isn't that insane for one system to do that? So this system took off like a rocket, was able to crush the market this year in 2025. It is in a drawdown now. Um, I think it, yeah, it hit equity peaks June 20th of this year, um, and it's been in a drawdown ever since then. So it's definitely cooled off recently, but what a move on that. You don't see that with a lot of systems, very rare to, to find. Um, so this is a very, a very good performing system after developing it. Uh, I'm going to talk about why it's good and we'll go over the logic as well. So some of the settings, it trades, uh, NQ, so NQ futures, NASDAQ futures, it could trade, uh, the micros as well. Although you would have to, uh, no, you don't have to change anything because it uses ticks as profit targets. So perfect. So it trades one minute bars. It trades on the U S equities RTH session. So. Uh, it's only available to bars 9.30 to 4 p.m. Eastern, the regular cash session. It has a, it does have walk forward settings, but for this year, the settings are a 200 tick profit target and a 500 tick stop loss. So a uh, $1,000 per contract profit target and $2,500 stop loss. So the stop loss is bigger than the profit target, um, which, you know, is not very common, but some systems can have that. So uh back test obviously here's the results uh once again back tests are the best case scenario what matters is live results so the live results that i showed you are always more important back tests always look great it's a very active system 2300 trades uh we started uh using 2020 as the development so that's a lot of trades it's trading pretty much almost every day which uh, some people may not like but this is a very active system and me personally, you know, seeing it trade, I've, I've seen it enter four or five times in a day. So it's very active, uh, but obviously been performing pretty well. Uh, what else? Do, do, do. Yeah, I think we did the equity curve. And yeah, I wish I could draw on here, but yeah, very good performance for this system. Oh, and it does exit on session close too. So it is an intraday system. It enters intraday and exits in, uh, intraday. Recently, it, ha it has struggled. I think the past two months, it hasn't been able to find a lot of, a lot of good trades, hence the drawdown, but uh, you know, it's part of the game. So let's talk about the source code for this trading system. Once again, it's called NQ pivots. Here's the source code here. Okay. So why is it called NQ pivots? Let me move my, my camera over here. So it uses the Camarilla pivots signal. Essentially it uses the Camarilla pivots have a, a support, a couple support lines and a couple resistance lines. And it's based on previous, uh, previous day highs and lows. Okay. So for the entry here, we have our on bar update method, which is called every time a bar closes, since we're trading on one minute bars, this is called every one minute in a live trading scenario or back testing. And we have our entry signals here in this region. So for the long here, we have enter long. If the close is greater than the last support, 
S1 means support. So the first support line, the close is greater than that, and the previous close was less than that. We're going to be entering long. So basically, if the close is crossing above that first support line calculated by the Camarilla pivots, it's going to be entering a long trade. And then for the short trade, we see enter short here. It's checking if we're closing below the resistance line, but it's not resistance one, it's actually resistance three. So close is less than R3, which is resistance three, the highest resistance. Uh, we're looking for uh, a cross below that. We're gonna be entering short. And then we have a prop target and stop loss based on ticks. Uh, so the default is 200, 400, but uh, in our community, we actually do walk forward analysis on a yearly basis. Uh, so for this year, it's actually 200 and 500. Um, so 500 tick stop loss, 200 tick profit target. So that's the logic. If we actually draw the indicator on the chart, I don't recommend drawing indicators for back tests as they do slow down the back tests quite significantly. Uh, if I draw it on here. So here's the Camarilla pivots indicator. You can actually do a daily, weekly, and monthly range. Um, if you trade daily bars, then you can't use the daily. You'd have to use a weekly or monthly supply. And unfortunately, the pivots, I don't like how they draw them. Uh, you can really only see them more recently. So let me move over here. So we can see our resistance lines. Oh, there is an R4. I didn't know there was an R4. So this S1, it's looking to buy. And this R3, it's looking to short. And these are calculated based on you know previous high, highs and lows. So for example, you see R4 here is using the previous day's high, I think. We had a high here, yeah. So previous day high. I don't know how it calculates R3 to R1. Maybe it's it's uh, like a multiplied factor. Actually, I'd have to look at the source code for the indicator. But I know they're based on previous highs and lows. Like S4 should be the previous day low, yeah, which is right here. You can see it. I guess it doesn't really line up. It's close, but maybe it's using, yeah, it's always a previous day. So it's something of that, of that logic. Let's actually look at the, you can view the source code for all indicators in NinjaTrader. Well, not all of them, the, the pre-built one. So if I expand the indicators folder here and I go down to C, uh, Camarilla pivots, it's a very, definitely a very complex indicator. So I see. So S1 is equal to the current close. Oh, okay. So it is a formula. Yeah. So it's the, it's the previous close plus or minus the current high low. And then it has, looks like it multiplies by 1.1 and then a division. Okay. So yeah, it's not exactly the same amount. I see. Okay. So yeah, it's it's uh, definitely a, a little bit of a complex indicator for sure. But uh, yeah, no, it's been a good performing strategy. I think pivots are great for mean reverting strategies. So if you're, if you're looking for strategies to kind of short the highs and buy the dips, it's been very great. Um, and yeah, this strategy has been a very good performer. Definitely, you know, my top performing strategies for the year. This is sort of the best of the best. Maybe I'll do a separate video of a strategy that's profitable, but not doing as good. But yeah, this year, I mean, especially Q1, Q2, and Q3 have been insane, just really great. But you can see this is a mean reverting system, kind of buying the dips here, shorting the tops. Obviously, that's like a perfect day. It actually doesn't do well if the market trends a lot. So uh, for example, here, uh, this was yesterday, markets kind of gapped up and continued higher. It attempted to go short. It was up for a little bit, but it kept trending higher. So it doesn't do too hot on those types of days. It, it does a lot better when we see gap fills and you know range moves for that instrument. So uh, the drawdown right now, not massive, but def definitely normal. You know, we've seen in the past for this system, look at this drawdown here, it's pretty big. Uh, you know, it has periods of time, so not doing too hot, so. But yeah, that's our, our pivot system. I hope you learned something. My goal is to kind of just showcase, you know, a system's live performance and then, you know, its source code 
helping new people kind of learn and see maybe it gave you a new idea for a system maybe you're going to build a pivots trading system uh, for now there's also other pivots indicators there's fibonacci pivots there is there's the normal pivot strategy which which actually uses just a combination of the open high and low which is called pivots or pivot points in NinjaTrader. Uh, that's an option as well and then of course the one i showed today camera pivots so anyways hope you learned something and we'll see you next week guys Bye bye